Hello, this is an Astroneer tutorial about the power sensor. It is a detailed description as well as common uses. This is the power sensor. Like all the sensors, it's got a pin at the top, which you can use to attach to whatever you want to activate, turn on and off, etc. Um, it has three states. It has power gained or lost, so that if it loses power, or if it gains power, it triggers. Um, it has uh, power gained, which is just when the power comes back on, and power lost, which is just when it loses power. This is the only sensor that has a single point trigger. Everything else is either uh, triggers both on and off, uh, when, when things toggle on and when things toggle off. This one only toggles, uh, it can be set to only toggle when it is either on or off. Um, it doesn't stick to anything. Um, it has its own power uh, uh, power attachment cable plugs. So you can uh, plug into a cable or it'll run when it's attached to a medium platform or any other platform. Um, one of the things is it's one of the more tricky sensors to use because you have to use it with extenders and splitters. Um, in this example, we have this is, this, this is uh, connected with an extender and this is just connected uh, directly up. And if I turn this on, you notice this is still sharing power because this kind of divides, this type of cable divides the power evenly between all the things, whereas the extender will just cut it off straight away. So if you have something that you want to sense the power of, you really have to go through uh, a cable extender, otherwise it's not gonna work the, the, the way you want it to work. This is something that I had difficulty with um, when I started using the uh, power sensors. Um, and that's, that's kind of, yeah, use extenders. Um, some of the more common uses for the uh, power sensor is timers or just uh, wind sensors or day-night cycle sensors. So in this case, we have a uh, wind turbine with a power sensor just on a medium platform with nothing else attached to it. Uh, what will happen is once there is wind, then this will start spinning, you'll gain power and you'll trigger. Um, when you lose wind, the, this will stop spinning, you'll lose power and this will trigger again. This is a, if you want something that, that needs to be triggered you know, every so often, but there's no real time frame, no specific timing needed. It's just, I want this to go off a couple of times a day. Oh, there it goes. Um, the next thing is the uh, solar sensor. So this turns on uh, during the day-night cycle. So again, it is a medium platform, excuse me, with a, um, a solar, small solar attached to it, uh, 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 attached to the platform. Um, so this, this turns on and off when the sun go, comes up and down. Um, one of the kind of nice cosmetic things is, is you can attach this to your existing lights. So we here we have you know, a large platform with floodlights and a lantern over there. And once you, once it becomes nighttime, as you, know, you lose power, boom, all, all your lights turn on. So it's, it's a great way to turn your lights on and off um, at night. Um, one of the, uh, uh, another useful thing for the power sensor is it is the fastest way to trigger printers. So if I launch this printer, um, we have one power coming in and that this consumes one power. So this turns off going through the extender again. Um, but the instant it's done, re-triggers the power and you get another one. So it's, it starts the printer again. So this is the fastest way uh, to trigger printers. Um, it works with all three printers. So the uh, medium printer, you need two power coming in, and the large printer, you need three power coming in to keep it printing. Um, and then I think the, the, the most useful thing to come out of the power sensors is the AND gate. So what this is is two power coming in, you have two portable oxygenators on here, and then the output is a power sensor. Now, because you have uh, two, two power coming in and each of these takes one power, if you turn one on or one off, nothing happens. But if you turn both on, 
then it triggers. So this is really important if you want two things to happen before something else happens. So um, I use this a lot in setups where I want I want to fill up uh, two platforms with two different resources and then trigger them building or uh, trigger something else with, with that or to make sure two platforms are empty. Um, so this really what you have is you have your, your secondary triggers over here or wherever they are and then you attach them to the portable auctionator. So they toggle these on and off. And then once the two things you want happen, have to have happen, toggle these, then you'll get your output on here. So this is this is very nice. You can do, uh, you know, again, just power lost or power gained or lost or power gained, uh, depending on what kind of logic you're looking for. But uh, uh, this is very useful for turning things on and off or sorting things. Uh, yeah. So that is the most common uses for the power sensor. Thank you.